All right, good day, hi, and welcome. Okay, so I was playing my seven string a little earlier. earlier. Uh, over in the corner there, excuse the mess, I got my clean laundry on the floor there, just got to hang it up. Um, always in kind of a bit of chaos here. But what I got going on here is uh, B-stock guitars. Not a B-stock guitar, not a B-stock guitar. Not a B-stock guitar, not a B-stock guitar, not a B-stock guitar, not a B-stock guitar, not a B-stock guitar. B-stock guitar right on the end, that nice 12 string. Uh, B-stock guitar uh, means a lot of things. And on that guitar, what it meant was it was uh, a G-series tack. Now, I'm not saying every G-series tack is going to be the same. Maybe I'll sit over here. I'll noodle with the bass while I'm uh, making my video. Um, yeah, I just did a thing on the uh, humidity and stuff like that. This bass there buzzes a lot. Could be the strings. I'm going to put flat wounds on it, see if it helps a bit. Uh, but anyway, the uh, B-stock guitar. I'll never buy a B-stock guitar again. You don't save that much money. Sometimes you do. Like if it's an obvious B-stock where, okay, the guitar is perfect, but it has like a, a scratch on it or something like that. Uh, fine, uh, you might get away with it. But when I bought that guitar, it was a B-stock, it was uh, not that much cheaper, and there was no apparent thing wrong with it. However, after like a, not even a year and a half of owning it, the first winter it went through, the action went like that high on it. I think the wood wasn't properly dried. So from China to Canada, what happened was, and I, I'm not the first person to mention this, uh, the, the the action goes really high and then when you lower the bridge i did i shorted out the uh, uh second bridge where it shorted out the 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 pickup so i lost that plus the guitar once i got the action to where it could be playable past say the fifth fret uh, and i use the whole neck it doesn't matter if it's an acoustic lecture i'm down here i'm uh, up here down here whatever or up here down here whatever i'm all over the place i need that kind of versatility because i play leads and stuff like that and what ended up happening is that even though i got the action almost where i want it uh, it's still a little bit high for my liking for the 12 string uh the g string when you lower the action too much you don't have enough tension on the g string which you can never tune uh, the t uh, the G string properly on the 12 string, which uh, means my, my intonation is out. And there's little tricks you could try, but almost nothing works uh, to fix that, other than putting in the bridge back to the height where it was, where it's unplayable. So what happened is that guitar shrank on me, is basically what happened, uh, or expanded, uh, whatever. The uh, difference in climate made made the difference in that guitar and that's probably why it was a b-stock guitar because it probably just wasn't just one or two of them that had this problem it was probably a whole bunch of them so i'm not saying you'll never get good luck with a b-stock guitar but to spend six seven hundred bucks uh, well i bought uh, strings and stuff like that with it too so it was like 630 or 620 so it was like 30 or 40 bucks off the normal price uh canadian uh, for the that tack and I love the sound of it. I love the way it was playing when it was new uh, It was going to be a workhorse guitar and it, it held tuning it holds tuning well like it doesn't go out very much I played it live once But I can't tune the G string now the simple answer is just remove the high G uh, the tenor G string and uh, Just you know, played it as an 11 string, but I bought a 12 string You know, what I, mean? I want the 12 <laughs> So that's my take on B stock guitars I don't think I'll ever buy another one. It's it's a gamble. And if it's a, a B-stock guitar over a thousand bucks, even if you're saving a hundred bucks, spend the extra hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Uh, there's It still had a warranty and everything like that, but the warranty ran out by the time all the problems arise, right? So, again, I don't, like, the, the, the store I bought from, I'm sure if I even brought it back to him now, I bought enough stuff from him, he'd probably take it back, but I don't, you know, whatever. I'll live with it and just sell it off at a later date when I get a better 12 string. Um, and uh, basically, the thing is, is he like he probably didn't know because when you looked at it, it was a brand new guitar, no side effects to it whatsoever. There was no like sometimes the B stock guitar doesn't have obvious what the flaws are, and the flaws could be maybe the proper wood wasn't used or whatever so that it didn't, you know, it goes way out of whack with the humidity and stuff like that. It doesn't, you know, doesn't, you know, loses intonation or whatever. So anyway, that's my take. So I'm not saying never buy one, but I'm saying buy or be one. All right. Have yourselves a good day.